Come on, you're so slow. Because I'm like a sniper. I'm going to need a place to sit. Okay, I got you. Hey, what is up? It is Kim. Oh, shit. And Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like DIY? Do you like building things, making things, crafting stuff? Well, so do we. So go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe and join us every Wednesday and Friday for new things that we build, make, and craft. Last week, we made cornhole boards. And this week, we're gonna continue our outdoor series and make a patio stool to go with them. Everybody needs a place to sit their ass when they're waiting for a slow person who's going. Or those that take forever to actually throw the bean bag. Hey, it's precision. All right, this week's cut list, crazy easy, super simple. We're just gonna need four one by fours cut to 19 and 3 16 inch long. We're gonna use those for the aprons. And we're gonna need four one by fours cut at 19 inches for the legs. And four more, one, four more boards cut at one by three for the legs. And then we're gonna need four one by fours cut to 16 and 9 16 inches. And those are for the stretchers. Finally, we're gonna need some place to sit that ass. A board 19 by 19 inches long, plywood. And a seat cushion. All right, let's put these together. We're just gonna need some screws and some, some holes. All right, we're gonna to put together the apron. The apron's basically the top frame for the stool. We're gonna use the 19 and 3 16 inch one by fours that we cut. We're just gonna lay them out in like a, a pinwheel formation. Put some pilot holes in, screw them together using some one and a half inch screws. I'm gonna lay the boards out and make a mark so I'll know where to put the pilot holes. And then I'm just gonna make them countersunk. The glue struggle's real. <laughs> Every time my glue crusts up. Give me like an uncrustable glue. We use pilot holes and we countersink them so that we don't split the wood and you don't see the head of the nail sticking up. And when he talked about pinwheel at the beginning, this is what he meant. One side of the board is on the inside, one side of the board is on the outside. So you see here, it alternates inside, outside. All right, we have the apron done. Now we're gonna do the bottom frame, the stretchers. Same way, except we're gonna use the one by fours that were cut down to 16 inches. We're gonna put them in the same formation, pinwheel formation, glue and screw. I learned my lesson from last time. I only have to do one side. Making some more pilot holes, countersinking them again so that the screw heads are below the surface. And we're just going to put it together just like we did the, the big one. They're identical, one's big, one's small. <laughs> the larger box goes on the top, the smaller one goes on the bottom, on the inside. All right, stretchers are done. Drilling some pilot holes, countersinking them, so we'll be able to attach the legs. All right, now it's time to attach the legs to the top. And we're gonna put some scrap wood in the middle of it. We're using the scrap wood that's about three quarters of an inch thick. Then we're going to put our top in. Should be a tight fit. It's so tight. That way we'll have a little bit of a ledge for the cushion to sit so the cushion won't slide around. Now right, we're using some glue and then some one and a quarter inch screws to use those pilot holes and attach the top to the legs. Each leg is a wide board, a four inch board, and a narrow board, a three inch board that consists of each on each corner. And then we'll put that stretcher on the inside of those legs and attach the legs to the stretcher. You want to keep those four inch boards both on the same side and the three inch boards both on the same sides. All right, the legs are on. The legs are at least to touch the top. What do we do for the bottom? We're gonna let 
Yep, it's gonna it lay flat. Yep, it was on the inside. Mm-hmm. On the bottom. Yep. Just like that? Just like that. Well, now nah, move, you move. Just like that. We're gonna drill some pilot holes. We're gonna countersink those. Then we're gonna come in with some one and a quarter inch screws and some glue and give each side of the leg two screws. You get two screws, you get two screws. Everybody gets two screws. And see the legs are on the outside and that stretcher on the inside keeps those legs from collapsing in on themselves. All right, legs are on, tops on, bottom is on, apron, stretchers. Now we're gonna throw the top on. We're gonna drop it in a little hole. You should have a little edge around the edge. Edge around the edge. It was very technical. <laughs> we're gonna put holes in the corners, some pilot holes in the corners, and screw the top down. I'm gonna use a piece of scrap wood right here to mark where the legs will be so that I, I will hit them with the pilot hole and then I won't miss the legs when I screw the top into them here in a second. I'll pop it back off real quick. Some glue. And right about now the camera dies because the battery dies. We didn't even know. So this project cost us about $35 and took us about 35 minutes to assemble. And then all we had to do was stain it and finish it. Come on, you're so slow. Cause I'm like a sniper. I'm gonna need a place to sit. Okay, I got you. Nice. <laughs> Come on, super sloth. Hold on. No. Sniper. Sniper. Now I need a place for my drink. Okay, I got you. Hold on.